Okay, so class, uh, today we are going to draw a diagram for use case diagram using uh, using star UML application. So let me start then. So before we start with the diagram, we need to go to the model. From model, uh, in add diagram, we need to add our use case diagram. So when we click on the use case diagram, there are multiple diagrams are available, among which we are going to draw a use case diagram. I'll click on the use case diagram. You can see the multiple components which are useful are available that is in toolbox. So you can see a use case subject, package, use cases, actor which plays most important part. Then we have association, directed association, generalization, dependency, include and extended. Oh, this part I'm going to explain you. Don't worry about that. So before we start with our <coughs> use case diagram, uh, I like to tell you one one important thing that is uh, when we draw a use case diagram it's basically used for uh, discuss the complex system and using use case diagram uh, the complex system can be explained in very easier way so in use case diagram we have a system tools which are going to use is system then we have a use cases uh, then we have an actor then we'll go make going to make use of a relationship in relationship we are going to use uh, association then generalization dependency include and extended uh, icons or the tools to do a connection between them so to do that what we can do is first of all i will select a package that is a use case subject so i'll click on it I will draw this package. I'll draw this package inside our window. So the window is ready. That is a use case subject is available with us. What subject we are going to do? We are uh, working on the subject name uh, banking app. So I'll write. Banking application. No, uh, I'm. I'm uh, I have taken help from Chloe to 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 draw the diagram for new skills diagram using banking app. Thanks to Chloe. So we will begin. Uh, when we talk about the system, a uh, system could be uh, any website, uh, any software component, any business application, any business process. Uh, it could be anything, but we have to mention the name for the same. Uh, then when we talk about the actor. So I'll select the actor. When we talk about the actor, we have to put the actor in it. Uh, another actor. Okay. Uh, right now, um, for a banking app, I have selected two actor: actor one and actor two. When we talk about the actor, there are two types of actor. Uh, there is a primary actor and the secondary actor. Uh, the primary actor will always remain at the left hand side of the system. And the second reactor always remain in the right hand side of that particular banking app. That is my right hand side. So we have actually two actors. Uh, first will be the customer. For bank, we require two actors. That is, that will be the customer and the uh, bank itself. So I'll write name is the first customer, and then I'll go for the second. That is bank. Home main system. So when we talk about the uh, primary and the secondary, uh, primary actor who initiate the use of the system. For example, if I have an app, the customer going to initiate the use of that particular app. So the initiator is always at the left hand side, and uh, the reactionary, that is the person who is going to react for that particular actions. So that is a bank. It will always remain at the right hand side of that. Our system. Okay, now <coughs> we have to work on use cases. So use cases, uh, uh, use cases basically represents an action uh, that accomplishes some sort of task within the system. So sort of task is nothing but um, uh, we are going to access that app. By accessing that app, uh, I'm going to click on that button. After clicking on the button, what is going to happen? What are the different tasks? that task we have to represent in the banking app using the use cases so this use cases uh, must be 
provide it or uh, we have to keep those use cases in a logical manner so I'll, I'll put the use cases right now so first use cases I have locked it second third and fourth for, uh, for my diagram I have created four use cases so I'll just show you what are those use cases are just a minute unlock it I'll keep this use case at the end. Why I'm using actor alternated. Okay. So first use case I have. I'll just shift it. This use case to location. Then I'll use one more location. Okay, club uh, guys. Uh, when we use uh, the use cases, the use cases must be in a logical order. So mm. for banking app, we have a cho we have chosen four um, four use cases. So first use case, I'll give name say login. That is, we have to log in to the system or using our mobile phone or using our system. Second, I'll use uh, use case is a check balance need to check the balance first whether we have money enough money to do that transaction or to transfer the money so check balance then uh, we have another uh, use case say transfer funds uh, as as we have a balance then we can transfer the funds to some other account or someone else depending upon what you have to do so after checking the funds you can transfer the funds okay and uh, last is uh, nothing but make payment so how you can do a payment so for the purpose So right now in my bank application, I have uh, four use cases, uh, two actor and one system. System is a banking application. I have two actors uh, named customer and the bank and four uh, use cases. There is login, check balance, transfer funds and make payment. Uh, class, uh, uh, we have to remember one important thing that is uh, about the relationship uh, which we are going to use using uh, say you're using our extended or using our generalization yeah, association tools so in relationship each actor that is customer or the bank has to interact at least one of the use cases in the system every time each and every customer each and every actor need to be connected one of the use case in this applications okay so there must be a relation only once relation between the use cases and the, the actors we have provided into our diagram okay now uh, as the customer he have to log in so we have to create a association between a direct association between customer and login so I'll create a link between them which can be shown using a solid line between customer and the login okay and then we have to provide the name of that relationship that is association okay then uh, of course as a customer he Okay, as it's, it's a customer, it's going to check the balance. Then again, I will use the association between customer and the check balance. Uh, again, I will write the association. Then we have a, a transfer fund. Of course, customer is there. Then he's also going to do, a do the transfer the funds. 
So I'll connect them. Relation can be shown using association. And one more connection that is customer and make payment. Of course, customer have to do a payment. Association. Now we have done the connection between association, connection between customer and the individual uh, <coughs> use cases. Now we can see <coughs> bank. If customer asking for the balance or if he is checking the balance, the balance information will be given by whom? By the bank. So of course there should be a relationship between bank and the check balance. So we will create a connection between bank and check balance association. Then again, as he's going to transfer the funds, uh, that funds uh, also checked by whom? By the bank. So we can say there is a direct relationship between transfer funds and the bank. Again, uh, as he's going to do a payment, mm, we need to check the direct connection between. Oh, one sec. Direct connection between. Okay, moving the, the relationship between the, the actors and the, the use cases is thoda, it's it's little bit critical task, but very easier to understand. Right, so creation. Okay, uh, as we have done with this part, uh, I'd like to tell you some association or uh, some other relationship which we have included and extended. So what do you mean by include and extended? When we have a login, there are chances that our login may get failed during the transmission. Why is it so? Because of the wrong password which we have entered. So it can be checked by the login app itself. So for that purpose, we have two use cases, two more use cases, which will verify the, the password and another one uh, will be used for displaying the login errors. So I'll add two more use cases the first one for verifying password verify password and another use case i will use another use case i will use is display login so i'll uh, display login error so display login error okay so right now i have two use cases uh, and one important thing uh, remain in mind uh, the use cases the processes which going to happen it must be inside our system it it it, it could not go outside of that system it must be remain inside the system itself so when we talk about the uh, the use cases uh, for the login, uh, there are two type of relationship we can use. We have a include and extended. Include means it is a part base use case and we have a included use cases. That is when we logged in into the system, the username and password which we have entered inside the login, it will be verified by the verify password. So this login is included inside the verify password. So for including, I will use this particular portion, this particular tool. So I'll click on included part and it will move from login to the verify part. Okay. So I will write include, include is displayed over here. So I don't have to mention anything over here. So it is a base part of the included class. So it will remain as it is include. Again, when we talk about the extended part or extended uh, use case, so display login error. Uh, it will not happen that every time user will enter a wrong password. It will happen uh, only once or twice. So 
to show that error the display login it will be part of login so it is the extended part of that particular login okay so for that purpose we will use extended criteria so i'll click on extended and extended will can be shown using display login error to the login we are going to enter the password every time and it will be verified by the verified password it will be done every time that's why it is included display login error we are not going to enter continuously wrong password so that's why it is extended part as a, uh, we can call it as a certain criteria to be met so for that purpose we have inserted the extended part for the login okay so this is the included part and this is the extended part simultaneously when we going to transfer the funds we have to check uh, or we have to verify whether we have a, a sufficient funds in our bank account or not so for that purpose we going to add one more use case in that use case i will write uh, verify sufficient funds i i will type verify sufficient funds sorry okay so what will happen in verify sufficient funds is that sufficient sufficient sorry verify sufficient mm -hmm. funds uh, so every time when we are going to check the sufficient funds it can be done by both transfer fund and make payment when we are going to make a payment we are going to check whether we have a verify or whether we have a sufficient funds or not again we are going to transfer the funds we are going to check whether we have a sufficient funds available with us or not so for so for that purpose at both time we are going to check whether we have a funds or not so it will be included what will be included verify sufficient funds will be included into include or into transfer funds and make payment so i am going to include the relationship between transfer funds and verify sufficient funds again make payment and uh oh problem this i will use include and direct connection between make payment and verify sufficient funds so included so right now you can see a use case diagram from bank application where we have a use cases put it or keep in a logical order we have a two actor that is customer and bank we have shown a direct association between each and every use case between the customer as well as between the bank and how bank is uh, connected to individual use cases what type of relationships we have done uh, between login uh, which we will call it as a base use case and we have a included use case simultaneously we have a base use case and we have a extended use case okay so Simultaneously, we have one more included use case that is verify sufficient funds, which can be done while transferring fund and while making a payment. Uh, one more important part I'd like to tell you that is uh, when we are going to do a payment, uh, the payment from can be done using payment from the saving or payment from the check. So, so for that purpose, what we'll do, I'll add two more use cases. One is for payment from checking. Uh, pay from checking and another use case i will add is is like pay from savings and we can debit card credit card whatever we have so i will keep this two part two use cases which going to connect the make payment 
so we can uh, call it as uh, uh, like we can we can call it as a child and parent relationship between them so we can call it as a payment as a parent and uh, pay from check and pay from saving as as uh, as a child so we can we can uh, create a relationship a specialized relationship that is a no child and parent relationship which can be shown using directed association so i will use or we can use a generalization part as well just a minute class over here we are going to use a generalization part to connect this to payment that is the payment can be done using one sec i am not connected to it generalization so this is a one part and another generalization from payment to the I'll connect to this one directly to that so this is two generalization generalization part and this is also generalization generalization so this is a generalization relationship between it directly to this part let's see it will work okay okay so we can see uh, the generalization part is shown over here by the child processes where parent is make payment and these are the two child processes so this is how we can draw create a use case diagram for any of the application you can see right now a banking application which is visible to you uh i hope you have understood how to draw a use case diagram what is the use of that use case diagram so it can be basically used for uh, for more complex system which can be understood in very easier way using a use case diagram i hope everyone understand this part thank you so much if you have any doubt you can send your questions or you can ask me your doubts uh, in a chat box thank you so much check here bye